Over the past night, Russian air defenses destroyed and intercepted five Ukrainian drones over four regions, the Russian Defense Ministry said in a statement. The ministry said a number of attempts by the Kiev regime to carry out terrorist attacks using aircraft-type unmanned aerial vehicles on targets in Russia were stopped. Air defense systems on duty destroyed and intercepted five UAVs, two of which were over the territory of the Bryansk region and one over the Tombov, Tula and Moscow regions each, it said. Moscow Mayor Sergei Sabayanin said that on the night of July 11, air defense forces shot down a drone near the city of Stupino in the Moscow region. The air defense forces of the Ministry of Defense in the Stupino urban district repelled an attack by a drone flying towards Moscow, he wrote. According to preliminary data, there was no damage or casualties at the site where the debris fell. According to the mayor of Moscow, emergency services are on the scene. The Astra Telegram channel publishes a video of local residents, which allegedly shows traces of air defense work. Since the start of Russia's full-scale invasion of Ukraine, Russian regions have been subject to regular shelling and drone attacks. There is destruction and casualties. The Russian Ministry of Defense reports on the suppression of Ukrainian attacks and reports downed missiles and drones over Russian territory. In most cases, Kiev does not comment on these messages. There are reports of drone strikes in Chechnya. However, the targets of the strike have not yet been specified. Recall, the military units under Ramzan Kadyrov, the Kremlin-appointed leader of the Chechen Republic since 2007, are actively supporting Russia's special military operation in Ukraine. However, a significant number of Kremlin-opposed Chechen fighters have taken up arms on Ukraine's side. These fighters play an important role within the Ukrainian command structure. Ukrainians fight Russian drones with old World War I style A-22s. Ukrainian pilots are using old 1970s propeller planes to fight Russian drones in World War I style. As Forbes writes, more and more Ukrainians are preparing to take to the skies and hunt Russian drones. It is noted that a video has gone viral on social media in which the crew of the Ukrainian intelligence service on the Aeropract A-22 sports plane destroys a drone with their assault rifle. This GUR tactic is no different from the one used in southern Ukraine, where a Yak-52 training aircraft is used to shoot down UAVs. The shooter in the back seat also attacks the drones with a rifle. The Yak-52 crew's methods are effective and perhaps most importantly inexpensive. Ukrainian forces cannot afford to fire the biggest and best air defense missiles, which can weigh hundreds of kilograms and cost millions of dollars apiece, at a 14-kilogram Orlan-10 drone that costs only $100,000. Operating a Yak-52 or a-22 costs only a few hundred dollars an hour. A few shotgun shells or rounds of ammunition cost next to nothing, the publication adds. As indicated, the armed forces of Ukraine are already using A-22s, which cost $90,000 in combat as attack drones. They are equipped for autonomous flight and filled with explosives. This allows these aircraft to fly hundreds of kilometers deep into the Russian Federation to hit military and industrial targets. The Rotax A22 engine generates 100 horsepower, while the Vedenev Yak-52 engine generates 360 horsepower. With its excellent power-to-weight ratio, the latter may be the best in tight turns with a drone. Ukraine is desperate to shoot down dozens of Russian surveillance drones that fly over Ukrainian cities and bases every day with near impunity. Over the course of three spectacular days last week, Russian drones flew over Ukrainian airfields, identifying targets for Iskander ballistic missiles. During these raids, the Ukrainians lost at least three precious fighter jets, all because they failed to shoot down the drones before the drones detected the planes on the ground, Forbes explains. While air-to-air -air combat aircraft may not to be the best choice for airfield security, they can free up heavier ground-based air defense to move into vulnerable airbases. Earlier, it was reported that in Odessa, the Orlan-10 
was destroyed from a training Yak-52. Subsequently, Defense Express reported that the Ukrainian propeller-driven Yak-52 shot down eight Russian Orlan-10 and Russian-made Zala UAVs. Forbes explained that Ukrainians in Yak-52s shoot down enemy drones using a shotgun against enemy UAVs.